Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. We're doing the Phantom Liberty DLC. I think we're going to be let loose into Dogtown today. That opener was wild. Crazy set pieces. Um, I don't know what's going on with Songbird. Songbird seems cool. But uh, I don't know what her intentions are and I also... Uh, there's a lot going on that I don't know. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh, yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the system, fuck our Osaka, fuck the NUSA. Jesus Christ, V, this ain't some teenage anarchist boot camp. No, I was once in Corpo Jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. <laughs> so I think that the oath was not necessary in order to do it. So uh, if I if I were to go back, I would just not do the oath. But since we're here, we're here. Um, I don't see any reason to reload. I don't know if it'll have lasting ramifications, but yeah. I think they started downloading my data before I even started the oath anyway, so I think they were gonna, I think the FIA was gonna take my data anyway. The hell? Huh, that smoke mean Dogtown chose a new pope? Maybe the Veep crashed Space Force too. Curious as I am, we got an important call to make. Okay, this seems like a dense area, doesn't it? The Bartmas Collective. Wake up and wake others up, join our collective. Hmm. Yeah, this area looks dense. You okay over there? Oh, hey, yeah, I can call in my car now. V in Dogtown. My, my. Yet again with my favorite merc this side of the Sierra Nevadas. I uh, only did the one gig for you, far as I recall. Hmm. And let's not forget our torrid tale of Haitians, Netrunners, and animals. You could not have made contact with the VDBs without me. Your source for adventure I am, in Dogtown as elsewhere. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system. Granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Nice. Talk again soon. Okay. Okay, thank you, hands. So that means that I can move in and out of the area. Okay, I was wondering how they were going to handle that or if we had to do all of the DLC while we were here. But we are able to come and go now, it seems. So cool. Okay, tarot there, tarot there. And that's the 20, isn't it? So those are my last two tarots. Let's see. Our dog down streets can run rather narrow, though not by European standards, mind you. You'll require a suitable vehicle, one which I happen to have arranged for you already. Collected at your leisure. You're very welcome. Okay. Thanks. A good fixer thinks of everything, don't they? Of course. Safe driving now. Vehicle acquired. 
I'll be damned. Look at that little thing. Yeah, man, this place is basically the Wild West. What is that on the map? Mysterious signal. Sent to nearby Mercs originates here. So what's your deal, bro? Shit! So the drones don't lie, it's you! Thank the fucking lord, it's fake, gotta be. El Capitan, you tracking me? In Dogtown? No, no, not you, the car. Listen, I'll explain, but first, you gotta bring her to me. Flipping you the courts. Okay. This first. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Did that count? Yes, it did. It's just being a little slow. Okay. <laughs> Take part in a clash of musical universes. Live on Earth only happens once every million years. Mr. Clipper and Private Press on set for 99.9 .9 Impulse. Club Riot Night City by invitation only. Proudly sponsored by Orbital Air. Can't wait. This message was automatically generated. Please do not reply. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. Oh my god. Is this the checkpoint? Huh. Cool. Alright. Isn't the... Oh, I see. No. Terra's way up there. Okay, but we're going to pass right by it, so we're going to pick it up on the way. You got a snow 
Roger, dispatch. On our way. Say, would you at least come to my funeral? <laughs> Cause he got called out to Pacifica. It's kind of funny. Damn, I didn't expect it to explode. Okay, these aren't actually cops, right? No. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why. But now everybody wants to murder me. Okay. It worked out. Oh, bloody hell. Really? This a prop. Well, it could have been in better shape. No doubt about that. V, you scan this motherfucker? Gonked again. Prime looking, but useless. At least with you, it's the other way around. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> relax. Just teasing, man. Anyway, come on. If I wanted my dick wet, I wouldn't stand out in the rain. This one's stolen, too? Stolen? Well, V, you're breaking my heart. Give it to me straight, Cap. The wheels. What's your scheme? Got a need for speed, huh? Yeah, me too. But first, I'm not gonna haze you. The car you brought's looking a little worse for wear. Every scratch is a loss, you feel me? Two, I'm selling them. Three, Dogtown's full of chances, and chances are what I like. Four, you called it a scheme? Man, I prefer to call it a, a creative license. You know, issues with the electronics and the Mizutani Shian MZ2 are usually the onboard comp's fault. Could help you out. Take a look. Whoa, 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 V. Boundaries, please. There are certain <laughs> things I don't do halfway. I'm talking my clothes, my cut, my cars. I'll handle her myself. Okay, fair enough. I wanted to ask about those speed bumps I ran into. Ah, uh, 6th Street? Uh, just a little biz disagreement. Better get used to bumps like that if you want to work with me. 
Like to call things by their names, Captain. Your squirmy song and dance won't work on all me. All right, all right, chill. We don't gotta like each other. Just gotta rake in the 80s. Listen, I got like a gift. A sixth sense. I can tell when a ride's bored. Needs a change of hands. Sometimes I hear him calling over in Dogtown. Sometimes in Night City. Right, and this sixth sense tells you that <laughs> you don't face? need to bring him to this Don't ever shop. do that again, Capitan. Oh, shop, shop. Uh, please. But, yeah, you rein in the wheels, you rake in the heads. Of course, it's all part of a larger plan. Well, well. Picked up a tail, huh? No, I don't think so. Relax, we're in my hood. Let's see what they want. NCPD asshole. You got a license and a ridge for them ugly mugs? I don't fucking believe this. Daniels, the fuck, man? You take a fucking squad car to pick up a clipped ride in uniform? Not the only one on his home turf, mama. Hey, Nabaville Fort Alvarado for the top brass, too. I'll get the gear for our little plan. Hold the phone. El Cap handing out bribes? I'm shocked. Shocked. There an honest <laughs> cop left in this city? There is. We know the answer to that. But they lay low. Don't got that fire in their eyes, you know? Prem, thanks for the cred. Cars, deeds, and docks are on their way. You see? It's just biz. Come on, rain stopped. Okay, you just met one of our clients. So, in on the gig? What's this plan? You and Daniels mentioned. Hmm, you drive for me, and you find out. In due time. So, you taking the gig or not? Always driving somewhere. Might as well pick up some scratch on the way. You gonna make it worth my while? Come on, man. With El Capitan, your future's looking bright. I fix you your gigs, your fancy payouts, nothing but upsides. Counting on it. Sure, sure. Let's see what tomorrow brings. El Capitan will be in contact. Okay, vehicle contracts. Muammar will now send you coordinates for nearby vehicle contracts. These are marked with a, uh, a driving wheel icon. Once you have the uh, target vehicle, the fixer will, let you, will tell you where to deliver it. In order to complete the delivery, you'll need to lose all pursuers first and don't hesitate to accept the contract. The vehicle will disappear if you wait too long. But if that does happen, Walmart will send another contract after some time has passed. Okay, so these are like infinite then. Okay, the, in that case, there's not like... I actually don't like infinite content. <laughs> I like... I like set content way more. So I probably won't be doing this too much, knowing that. Mess with the wrong people, watch out. Okay, so do we have... Okay, so there's now a different set of tarot graffiti in Dogtown. Gotcha. So, we probably have one... Okay. All of those are Dogtown ones then. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, let's get back into Dogtown.
Okay, side job then Solomon. Cause you like think I'm scared of him? Hey, you! Come here a minute. You look messed up. Talking to me? Looking at you, ain't I? Come on, we got like a situation. Look, vodka. Have a shot. Hands okay. gonna hang me by my cojones anyway. So what the hell? Okay, so Name's the guys Paco. in green work for this handsome. Here's Babs. V. Okay, V. Let's drink to the sitch. Like, toast the mofo and hope he goes away. What's this sitch? And why is it a bitch? Making it sound like it's some life or death conundrum. Bab says I fucked big time. But as I see it, like, no shit too deep, you know? What you think? Looking at someone who got out of neck deep shit, too. <laughs> Told you, Babs. Fucking Nova. That's the vaguest shit I ever heard. Who fucking cares? She did it, didn't she? It's a start. So, okay, can I start now? Yeah, what the hell? Weave your tail. Just Paco begging you. On the down low. Wall's got ears. Feel me? Ooh, wait. Let's do it right. Go for real feels, eh? Take a whiff. It's deep dive. Gonna take you there live. Make you feel part of it. Day was tight as shit. My ticket to the majors, get me? Wanna feel it? Take a big whiff and listen. Got a story like that myself. Same start. Fast forward a few hours and my best friend was dead. Oh, bites, man. I make it out of life of mine. Promise you. Well, seems like uh, we're taking the hit to get to continue, so. Oh, V. <laughs> so much judgment from him today. Okay, okay. Settle down to listen. So, picture this. My first day in Hansen's army. Waiting for the boss man, yeah? Legs shaking like jelly. Is the Fuck! No! Imagine you Hanson himself, and you was pissed. Okay, we're going on a trip. Let's go. You was super pissed, Kurt Hanson himself. How <laughs> was this the first time we're seeing Hanson? The hell? You wish to talk, so said the radio. Do you? You got a check in the black sapphire. Huh? We got our hands on some new chrome. Scav deal. Swear to me it'll go swimmingly. No fucking mishaps. Look me in the eye. Kurt, how long have we known each other? They'll want to fuck us. We need to be prepared. Clear? Of course it's clear. Come now, this is rookie shit. I'm sick of the incompetence. Small fry business only till you prove yourself again. Then dead silence. That's Paco right there watching, know, huh? Yuri and Kurt been in the army together. Militech dropped him here years ago, yeah? Dude looks mean. Oh, this little Torres ready to get fucked good. And I'm standing there, waiting, lost. I actually shit myself a little. Gross. Could have left that part out. Babs is whispering, egging me on like, and I'm thinking, if he don't kill Yuri, he gonna kill me for sure. Do it, Kurt. Little bitch is begging for it. Fuck him up. Defend yourself, Gonk. Put him up. What's your name, kid? B Paco Torres. Hitting him like that. Telling you, felt like the real deal. Fight back, you little cunt. Come on! 
and he's just staring at me. And I'm thinking, I'm just too weak. Wrong. Your name's Mutt. But we'll make a hound out of you yet. Yes, sir. Fuck me, Paco. Quit making shit up. Psh, my story. Fuck his face, Doc. What good are you to me? I'm quick and... and clever. Let me see it. And he's just staring at me. And I'm thinking, I'm just too weak. And that dog knowed where to hit. Oh, I can still feel it in places. Pup will do. I can tell. I drag him around the block again. And we will. We will. Welcome to the pack, kiddo. <laughs> like hell he said that. <laughs> You'll head to the next convoy. Let's see what you're made of. And I felt like born again, Choom. Blood running down my face. But I'm so happy I'm howling. And? You're keeping up? Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. So, get your ass handed to you, and you call that the best day of your life. Taking a beating is just a path to something greater. Ass whooping is ass whooping. Ain't no point philosophizing it. When they put a bullet in your dumb face, gonna call it your stupid ass path too? Por Dios, get off me already. You're just jealous you didn't get no mission from Hansen himself. So listen, it was one of those gigs, you know? Like garden airdrops or transporting? I was protecting our convoy. Feeling a conclusion coming on. Also feeling things gonna turn out fucked. He probably gonna get lynched on a cable. This is how he gonna end. Transport he talking about was for scaffs. So shit got heated. Babs loves complaining. But the opportunity looked real, real good. To the end. Hmm. Give me another whiff of the dive. It's a fun concept for a so quest. So we driving, right? Boss man himself next to me. Suddenly, tires screeching, and I'm thinking, mierda, esto se sale de madre. Motherfuckers. Get me, Manu? He saw it all coming. That's why he went with me. Blocked the road. Buckle up, pup. Time to remind these bastards who's in charge. The boss man got hit. Thinking to myself, this is how we fucking die. So many scabs, 
No way he wasn't gonna get shot. No, they got All right, fuck. <laughs> I mean, if I knew that a guy fucking flanked us. So we drive in, right? Boss man himself next to me. You know, you could have done the driving part. You, you could have. Suddenly, tires screeching, and I'm thinking, mierda, esto se sale de madre. Cool, bro. Fuckers. Right, I'm a little bit mad that we have to do the driving part again too. That's why he went with me. Have blocked the road. Buckle up, pup. Time to remind these oh, bastards shit. who's in charge. Fucking awesome pre name, and he was out for blood. Was a machine like precise. I tear you apart, hear me? Make decisions. Boss man got hit. Thinking to myself, this how we fucking die. Never runs from a fight. Maybe he was gunning to outflank. Ah. Fue per Slaughtered all of them. We did. Metallic smell of blood in the air. Massacre. We have a groaner still breathing. Sure to tell us something interesting. Dirty fucking rats. At least the kid showed some teeth. Well, not half bad. You got something. Weren't lying about being quick, kiddo. Good work stomping these rats. You will not get away with this! All right. The goods go back to the Sapphire. Just be careful, kid. Yuri and I gotta ask our scav friend some questions. This is Kurt Hansen. You are now in Dogtown. Keep listening, V. What this Skunk cast did next is a story I've been waiting for. Okay, so listen. Before we left, Yuri gave me a list. No power generators there. I look into the truck, and what's there? Generators. Yeah, Yuri probably grabbed some on the side, wanting to hawk him off for a quick eddy after the scav shit show. And this dumbass thought if he snatched and sold him, he'd be set for a year. They check him to see if he's cool. He straight up robs him. Only idiots say no to opportunity, Babs. So, what'd you do with this opportunity? Uh, well, shit. Sold them to a guy. Said he had a client in India. Probably being shipped. Can wave him adios. Oh, they're gonna kill him, right? Fuck. 
And me in the bargain? Come on, I see you thinking good. Can you help, sister? Sure, can help you. Advice don't come free, though. Yeah, yeah, we got scratched, Chung. I'd have an idea, yeah. Okay, we frame Yuri. Guy's on Kurt's shit list anyway. We do this right, problem will solve itself. Fine, L let's just please take this combo somewhere else. Uh, underground passageway nearby. Talk there. Tomorrow evening, yeah? Amen to that. Set any contact dates. You know, just in case. Okay. Cool. We're gonna have a follow up to that one. That was fun. See? My shit's always gotta go tits around the bend. Know what I'm saying? It's like talking to a kid sometimes. It's like he thinks it's a game. I can only get pretend shot. Alright. So, we can do that one later. I think for now. We go to the Capitan Caliente. Dude, Dogtown is fucking cool. Okay, can't get in there. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stands. If you really need to know, one, it was an accident, and two, they didn't fire me, I quit. I'll be damned. A real live customer. <laughs> what can I get you? This whole fucked up zone behind. And, uh, ton of Oko. Go plant sink corn. You take one ride in the face. Man, fuck the cords. Shop local. Shop with Ronald Ronnie the Ronster. I'll be damned. A real live customer. <laughs> what can I get you? Inside the place? Hey. Capitan Caliente. Closed? Shut and boarded. On to talk shit about Kurt. Mad disrespect. Had no choice. Hanged itself out back. Hey, you a fresh face, so listen up. Here in D-Town, you watch what you say. Talk shit to the wrong tune. Blam! You're dead. Anyone inside right now? Don't know, don't care. Buy something or get off my ass.
Okay, maybe I follow these cables to open the window? Okay, yep, I think I'm I think I'm on the right path. Okay. Attention, this is Kurt Scavenger representatives would be trying to candidate on business. Our Balkan based friend. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house, by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. <sighs> okay, phone. Roach Race, a quick review. I consider myself a real gamer, and I gotta admit, Roach Race was one of the titles I've been looking forward to all year. Nostalgia can be a bitch sometimes, but the devs really delivered on this one. It's an arcade game comparable to the great classics. Gameplay is fairly balanced, and I've sent countless hours into the game already. Devs really took Bushnell's Law to heart, as the game is easy to get into, but even the hardcore player's metal with will be tested. Uh, while being quite simple in its nature, I couldn't be more excited about pro tournaments and seeing the scoreboards of players from all over the world. Sometimes it just feels like you can't beat simplicity in its beauty, and its beaut in its simplicity in its beautiful arcade game form. I can read. No analog input. Damage caused by a drop from a great height. Great height. Weird. Okay. Truth hidden in plain sight? We're like animals that have enough self-awareness uh, to realize they're living on a farm. Their freedom limited, their death inevitable. Yet believing they understand the inner... <laughs> what is this? Okay, an archive conversation, Zoika and Wanski. Change of plans, we're hauling goods to Caliente now, near the huge head sculpture. Place has got preem fridges. So we stash in parts with all that old food? Ugh. The fuck, dude, no. Place has been shut for years. Never been there? Nope, never. Damn, all this talking made me hungry for some Caliente. Jesus, even if by some miracle you find some stashed food, don't eat it. Gonna die, Chum. Yeah, no, I ain't no gonk. Yo, are there any gear or preservatives at Caliente, or we need to grab our own? There's basic shit, so if you got some delicate parts, better grab your own equipment. It's more of an emergency storeroom in case everything else is filled, and it is. Okay, I see. You gonna come by today? Zoika? Uh, nah. Think I got plans for today. Cool, no prob. What's this?
Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Okay. Well, I fucked it. That's what happens when I don't plan it ahead. <laughs> okay, E9, 1C, 7A, B, D. Okay, E9, 1C, no, 7A. 1C, 7A, B, D. Zero nine three one. <laughs> Doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> That's great. That's so good. Johnny's oh, like, come on. up to the ear, buddy. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems. Okay, there is one of those things above us somewhere. Man, I need to go and find it. The one of those Militech things for our relic upgrades. Trauma team? Broken neck and rib cage 13 days ago. Trauma team operative. Okay, how many of those do we have now? Two. Okay.
Listen to that honk. I got this. I got it. Don't worry. I like the decorations. Nice. Put some lights on the statue. Pretty sure the tomb said daytime. Only thing we're meeting here is a stray bullet fee. Best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand, basketball fan. That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. How do you mean? You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. <clears throat> just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Remember you saying you deserted? Is there more to the story? Ah, just another life lesson you could fucking use. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Got the warning. I'll keep one foot out the door. Too late. Swore an oath to the new fucking United fucking States of America. If you faked it, it makes you a pushover. If you meant it, it makes you a tool. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. <laughs> Hans, what you holding? Johnny, who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. Yeah. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token? Mean anything to you? I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? Hard to say. No longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around it. Were you followed? Did 
Did you even bother to check? Don't know. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well, you get one point for being candid. Had a girl. Black Thornton Merrimack, Village Street. Three minutes, front seat. That it? Interrogation <laughs> over? Already we're starting to have fun. Reed? He's gone. Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. <laughs> Bet he's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey, you see that guy I was talking to a millisec ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut <laughs> up or get lost. <laughs> All right. Probably shouldn't be talking to them about the spy who wanted to not be noticed talking to us, huh? All right. Black Thornton. Right there. That's what we're getting into at the start of the next episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, TurkeyFoot27, Pedo Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.